the real price of owning a Cessna Citation. Light business jets are a part of the Citation family and are the Cessna Citation Jet CJM2 series. The Model 525 was introduced in October 1989, made its first flight in April 29, 1991, received certification from the Federal Aviation Administration on October 16, 1992, and made its first delivery on March 30, 1993. It utilizes Citation 2's forward fuselage with a new carry-through section, wing, and T-tail, and is powered by two Williams FJ-44s. Hello everyone and welcome back to Lux Life. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on the world's richest personalities and their lifestyles. With that being said, let's get started. The original Citation Jet model was updated into the CJ-1, CJ-1 Plus, and M2 variants. In addition, CJ-1 was extended into the CJ-2, CJ-2 Plus delivered from 2000 to 2016, then further into the CJ-3, CJ-3 Plus delivered from December 2004, and finally into the CJ-4 delivered since 2010. 2,000 of all types have been delivered as of June 2017. What is its design, and what is the cost of maintenance cost of this jet, and how can one maintain it for years? The 1985 discontinuance of the Citation 1, a response to the rising cost of its Pratt and Whitney JT-15 D1 engines that made it uncompetitive with its bigger straight-wing Citation stablemates, served as the impetus for the development of the Citation jet. A light 4-5 to five jet with low operating expenses, gentle flying characteristics, and the ability to take off from short runways, usable by light piston twins. A combination that had made the Citation 1 popular was still in demand, according to Cessna. However, that aircraft had a reputation for having a slower cruising speed than its rivals, a problem that was gradually fixed in the Citation S2 and Bravo and the Citation 5, Ultra and Encore, although at the expense of operating efficiency. Cessna engineers understood that a new, lighter airframe design would be required using less expensive and lower thrust engines to boost speed while lowering purchase and operating costs. Cessna also sought to get rid of the step in the center aisle of the older citations that was caused by the spar going to the cabin to compete better with newer jets. At the NBAA convention in Atlanta in October 1989, Cessna introduced the $2.4 million or $5.25 million in 2021 Model 525 Citation Jet, predicting demand for 1,000 aircraft over 10 years, surpassing the original 700 Citations manufactured since 1972. With a first flight planned for spring 1991, FAA certification in October 1992, and deliveries by the end of the year. It had its first flight on April 29, 1991, received FAA certification on October 16, 1992, and received its first delivery on March 30, 1993. The aircraft performed better than Citation 1 in all significant metrics except maximum payload and approach noise, despite having 600 lbf 2.7 kn plus total engine thrust. Its normal cruise speed was 29 kilometers, 33 miles per hour, 54 kilometers per hour, faster than the Citation 1s. 1,450 CJs have been made 20 years after the aircraft's debut flight. 5 million hours have been flown as of June 2017 and 2,000 of all versions had been delivered. The monoplane Citation Jet, which has six seats, has a pressurized cabin, a retractable tricycle landing gear, and a canty lever wing. Jet uses a new carry-through section, a new laminar flow, a supercritical wing designed by NASA and Boeing, a T-tail, and a forward fuselage from a Citation II. The 10,000 pounds or 4,500 kilogram aircraft is propelled by two 1,900 pounds 8.5 kn Williams FJ-44s and has a trailing link undercarriage for easy landings. It can be flown by a single pilot with four passengers. The range is 1,500 miles, 2,800 kilometers, and the cruise speed is at 437 knots or 503 miles per hour, 809 kilometers per hour. The Citation Jet remains a circular cross-section 58-inch, 147 centimeters, inside the diameter fuselage of the original 1971 Citation 500. This fuselage is a semi-monocoque construction made of common aluminum alloys and is put together using rivets, fasteners, and adhesive bonding. The low wing center portion is covered by a sizable fairing and the engines are positioned high on the tail to lessen interference drag. 
bearings and the nose radome, two non-load bearing components, can reduce weight by using composite materials. The fuselage is shorter by 11 inches, 27 centimeters, than the Citation 1. And the cabin is shorter by 1 foot 6 inches, 46 centimeters, but with a lowered center aisle for a higher cabin. The cockpit is equipped with EFIS avionics. To reduce temperature fluctuations between the cockpit and main cabin, the cockpit side windows are slightly narrower than those in earlier citations. With cord-wise ribs covering the front and back spars and an aft subpar to support the landing gear, the wing structure is a typical ladder. In comparison to the bigger NACA 23,000 series wing of Citation 500, the NASA High Speed 0213 airfoil maintains natural laminar flow over 30% of the upper surface and has a lift to drag ratio that is 10 to 15% higher. Rather than the de icing, boots, or fluid de icing systems used in earlier citations, icing protection is now provided by ducted bleed air to preserve the wing's laminar flow characteristics and decrease weight. Its FJ44 engine has a 2.58 is to 1 bypass ratio and a 16 is to 1 overall pressure ratio. Early Citation jet models have an innovative design element to reduce weight. The aircraft is equipped with thrust attenuator paddles that pivot from the rear fuselage, similar to those used on the Cessna T-37 Tweet military trainer. These paddles replace the conventional thrust reversers. The average cost of gasoline is $5 per gallon, but this varies during the year. AirNav and Global Air both offer up-to-date national averages and a breakdown of current fuel prices by region. The average fuel consumption of for Cessna Citation is 175 gallons per hour, though your model may vary somewhat. This indicates that if you pay $5 a gallon, your average hourly fuel expense will be $875. You'll observe that gas prices had been known to jump to as much as $8 or $13 per gallon. Think about your budget. Depending on the class it belongs to your aircraft's average fuel burn per hour, GPH will vary. Assuming fuel rates of $5 per gallon, large jets will burn an average of 370 gallons per hour, putting expenses at $1,850. The typical cost of a very light jet, on the other hand, is $550 and may only consume 110 gallons per hour. Your plane won't take off on its own, the size of the jet will determine the crew's needs. While bigger planes may require up to three crew members, smaller jets may manage with just one pilot. The area in which you are based and the kind of aircraft are other factors that affect crew costs. A relief pilot and a flight attendant may be included in the supplementary crew in addition to the necessary pilots. What is covered by your plan as a whole will have a significant impact on your insurance. Hull, bodily injury, and property damage coverage are not always included in the aircraft insurance. The low end of insurance may be a premium of $1,200 a year and the high end may be as expensive as $10,000 due to the variety of factors involved. A landing and handling fee is assessed when you touch down at an airport. You can land at an airport, park safely, have your bags loaded, and receive other ground services for a cost. Depending on where you're landing, the size of the airport, and the weight of your aircraft, this price will vary greatly. Landing fees alone often cost less than $10, with some airports charging as little as $5. Things get more expensive when you leave the jet for an extended period due to handling fees and associated costs. This is where daily rates, which can cost several hundred dollars, enter the picture. Depending on the sort of storage you desire and the location where you wish to keep your plane, storage charges can vary. Rural airports offer the cheapest alternative for exterior storage. Urban airports with hangars will be the most pricey alternatives. The average monthly cost will be around $300. Jets require oil changes, much as cars do. You should change the oil in jet engines every 50 hours of operation, and this equates to around every 4 months. Additionally, yearly inspections of your aircraft will be necessary. It may cost between $600 and $1,200, and unavoidably over time, repairs will be required, ranging from minor updates to significant overhauls. You should provide $200,000 per 200 hours per year for both routine maintenance and unplanned repair works. So what are your views on all of this, and how do people look at such aeroplanes? What are the points to keep in mind while purchasing such things? This brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching, then do like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insightful content from us, and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.